your question directly. We are contained, and the only solution, from my point of view, I appreciate that the system can possibly be reformed, but I'm not a reformist. In terms of abolition, I don't support the abolition of the police, which is something that's being proposed, unless we're abolishing the judicial system, and unless, at the same time, we're abolishing government. Because abolition of small elements of the state will make no difference. You've mentioned about the industrial complex, the prison complex. So I think the film tries to connect everything together. The war in Iraq, what happens here, what happens there, where we come from, where other, all of these are important. And I think that's where the solution has to be. We have to make connections between the different struggles because at the moment there's a divide and rule policy which was established <coughs> in colonialism, perpetuated through imperialism, and that's where everybody is. Everyone is fighting small battles. And I firmly believe in attack, not in defence. The legal system here is all about defending. And of course that has to happen. We, are, we have enough energy, there's enough momentum now for all these different approaches to be happening. But at the same time, we have to really ask ourselves, even if the killers of Mikey and Trevor and Ibrahima and Brian and Joy and everybody else were in jail, would that be enough for us? It wouldn't. And that's the battle because they know that if people start asking questions about why, what the police is doing, that would get a bigger discussion about what is society, what do we want to do. And I think Chairman Mao had the right idea when he said to march to the top of the mountain, you must aim for the clouds. And at the moment, we're only trying to get to the top of the mountain and we need to be thinking about the clouds. And I think that has to come through international solidarity to shape this place up. England, Britain, is really, really dull and boring and unexciting politically, you know? <laughs> the only thing that's happened here in the past five years is we had, you know, in the same time that we had kids in Bradford during their lunchtime, yeah, chanting, Palestine will be free, we had Extinction Rebellion, yeah, liberals from Muswell Hill tying themselves up. We had Me Too, we had Black Lives Matter, all of that is momentum. That only happens because it happens. It's not, none of the campaigning that we do, or no films and no, and nothing, it won't, it, it, it's, this doesn't have an, imp, imp, uh, an impact. It's just a historical period, and I feel we're at a historical period. And young people feel that as well, and I think that's what we should do. We should really give the young people the revolutionary tools, right, to take things forward. Because I think anything is possible if you want it. Shall we take more questions? Is there another question? While you get in the mic, can I just direct everybody to, you know, you can do things, and there are, Tip has mentioned the websites already, but if you go to, uh, if you're on Instagram and you follow Migrant Media, uh, we can let you know what's happening with the People's Tribunal, and there's the website for the film which has lots of actions that you can take as well. So, obviously, we've made this film for people to be organised, not for... Uh,